In August 1967, an American satellite took some photographs of a secret Russian base off the Caspian Sea. One of the photographs it took was this. This picture baffled American intelligence. You see, at first glance, it looks like this is a picture of a plane that's still being built. It was over 300 feet long, and it was bigger than any aircraft at the time. It didn't take long, however, for the Americans to realise that this was never intended to fly at all. For one thing, it wouldn't have flown very well, its wings are far too stumpy, and those engines are right up at the front of the nose of the craft. It was dubbed the Caspian Sea Monster. It turned out that the vehicle in the photograph was an Ekranoplan, one of the most secretive ships of the Soviet fleet. They were essentially just flying boats, moving at about 250 miles an hour below enemy radar. They allowed for the rapid and very stealthy transportation of tanks and troops. And while they're often depicted flying over water, Ekranoplans could really travel over any surface, water, ice, even land. To understand the physics of the Ekranoplan, you need to understand the ground effect phenomenon. Ekranoplans are not aircraft, seaplanes, hovercraft, nor are they hydrofoils. Rather, they're called ground effect vehicles, and they're kind of a separate technology altogether, really. When an aircraft moves forward, the wings, as I'm sure you know, generate lift, and this lifts the vehicle up. However, when very close to the ground, the wings also generate a very small cushion of air, which the Ekranoplan really takes advantage of. This is why those engines are right up at the front, and why they're at that kind of odd angle. It's to help create that initial air cushion. It's also why the wings are very stubby. The Ekranoplan is not supposed to fly. It's just designed to just about leave the ground, and no more than that. It's a shame the Ekranoplan project was cancelled towards the end of the Cold War, because it's not very often you get a whole brand new form of transportation just pop out of nowhere. They are still being built today, but their role is primarily limited to non-military and sort of recreational purposes, and on a much smaller scale. Modern giants have been proposed, but none of the designs really, um, none of the designs really got off the ground. And that's how I'm going to end this video with that pun. Thank you for watching. <laughs>